Hello and welcome to the seven days of Halloween. Hello, my name is Monica and over the next seven days we'll be creating seven Halloween cards using some great techniques and some fun product. So sit back and relax and let's get started. For today's card we'll be creating a checkered background using Distress Ink. The three colors we're going to be working with today are Mustard Seed, Spiced Marmalade, and Peeled Paint. To begin, you're going to want to start off with some white cardstock and some blue painter's tape. Now prior to adhering the tape to your white cardstock, you're going to want to stick it to your pants or some furniture, something to dull out the sticky side of the tape because after all it is tape and if it's too sticky it will tear your white card stock. The white pieces that you see stuck to the tape currently are from prior cards. I've actually used this tape about three times so it's sticky enough to work as a mask but not so much that it will tear my paper. Now when working with the distress ink you want to start out with the darkest color first and then work your way to the lightest. The yellow can actually be used over some of the darker colors, but the darker colors will actually overpower the yellow. Now, when you are removing the mask and placing the diagonals in the opposite direction, you wanna cover the orange because that's where you're gonna actually stamp your pumpkins is on the orange. The stamp set I'm working with today is from Stampendous and it's called Halloween Haunts. It has several images that you could work with as well as three word sentiments that you can use for your inside greeting as well as your out. Using my MISTI, I'm positioning the three pumpkins on the orange checkered. After I stamp the images, I'm simply removing the stamps and repositioning them on the orange checkered to create a fun pumpkin background. After I was finished with the white cardstock, I adhered it to some black cardstock and then I chose the number 31 as an embellishment. Prior to sticking down the 31, I did distress the sides of it using walnut stain. This is an easy way to add just a little bit more interest to numbers and letters. The sentiment I chose was Happy Halloween. Using my MISTI, I stamped it using Memento ink onto some green cardstock. Then I used my 1 and 3 eighths square punch to create the tails of my banner. You could easily freehand cut the tails, but I find a square punch works great. I inked the sides of my banner using walnut stain. Then I popped it up on the top of my card using adhesive pop-ups. I hope that you've enjoyed the first card and my seven days of Halloween series. I've listed all the products below with the links to the stores. I would love to hear from you in the comments and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel this is a great time to do so. At the end of my series, everybody that has left a comment will be placed in a drawing to win all seven cards. So be sure that you do leave me a comment and let me know which ones are your favorite cards. Thanks so much for stopping by everyone and we'll see you again next time.